Cincinnati Bengals tight end Tanner McLaughlin was a sixth round selection in April's draft, but don't be mistaken, he's got the makings of the next Rob Gronkowski. How's it going today? My name is Jesse McNamara and welcome to Point of View. Before we get into it today, I just want to say we always appreciate your feedback and look forward to reading your comments like the one we've got here. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question down below. To today's topic, will McLaughlin continue to prove he's on the same career path as Gronk and become one of the premier tight ends in the NFL? He's achieved his dream of making it to the league, but he still has a long way to go to reach that pinnacle. However, he's already proven he can overcome tough obstacles as he did in college. He spent his first four years at Southern Utah, but suffered an ACL injury at the end of his tenure there. He then transferred to Arizona and joined the Wildcats, but still had to deal with the rehabilitation process ahead of his first season with the team. He recovered quicker than anyone expected and went on to catch 34 passes in 2022, the most receptions by an Arizona tight end since Rob Gronkowski in 2008. McLaughlin followed that up with a monster six year and caught 45 passes for 528 yards and four scores. And with that, he broke Gronk's school record for receptions by a tight end. Not bad company at all. And at the NFL Combine, he solidified himself as a legit prospect by running a 4.61 40-yard dash and posting a 35-inch vertical. And he displayed that vertical with one awesome highlight play with the Cats. He catches the crossing route wide open and the defender completely whips. But how can you blame him when most guys that size can't get up like that? The Bengals must have liked what they saw in the pre-draft process because they made McLaughlin the first tight end picked out of Arizona since Gronk in 2010. And if you're still not convinced McLaughlin is on the Gronk path, I don't blame you. He's an all-time great, and he made the top tight end in the draft, Brock Bowers, look tiny in this viral photo. But as it's listed, McLaughlin is only one inch shorter and 20 pounds lighter than Gronk, and he's still got time to add muscle in the pros. Even though he's a late pick, head coach Zach Taylor sees a lot of potential in him. Here's what he had to say about his new tight end after the draft. Quote, he can have true separation as a route runner and a catcher. He's got some split out of his receiver, some down the field play action stuff, involved in the screen game, he can be a point of attack blocker, he likes the physicality aspect of that, and he's willing to do it. Obviously, the injuries are what allowed him to come to us. Otherwise, I don't think there's any shot in the world he's there when we got him." End quote. Taylor makes an important point at the end. This isn't your average six round selection. He fell in the draft because of the injury, and otherwise could have slipped into day two of the draft. He also mentioned McLaughlin's physicality and willingness to block, which is going to be huge for him this season, because that tight end room is stacked. He'll have to compete for snaps with Mike Jasicki, Drew Sample, Tanner Hudson, and fellow rookie tight end Eric All. All four of those guys inherently have a better chance at making the team, and it's an uphill battle for McLaughlin, but I know if he doesn't make it in Cincy, someone else will tap into his potential. But I don't think that's going to happen. He's already shown his blocking ability in the preseason and had the chance to run in the open field in the first game. He took the designed screen pass and got the most yards possible on his first NFL reception. I mean, that's a big boy getting down the field in a hurry. And I'll come clean. It's incredibly unlikely he becomes what Gronk was in the league for so long. But I said he was on the path, and if he continues on that path but falls short, the chances are he'll end up in a pretty solid place and have a long NFL career. What more could you want from a sixth round pick as a Bengals fan? And the hype for young Bengals doesn't stop there. McLaughlin's fellow Canadian, Chase Brown, looks like he's going to have a monster sophomore season. For more on that, check out this past episode of Point of View. And the moment you've been waiting for, here's the answer to today's trivia question. We appreciate you tuning to this episode of Point of View, and we'll see you in the next one.